Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, we'll have some fun. First we'll clap our hands just so. Then we'll bend and touch our toes. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, we'll have some fun. Hello everybody, welcome to another Baby Time with Vancouver Island Regional Library. I'm Kendra here at the Couch and Lake Branch. Great to have you here. Today we are, like every Baby Time, having some quality bonding time and language skill development time. And today we're going to focus on the words that describe the parts of our body. This is a great first vocabulary for babies to learn because once they can communicate with you, they can tell you about their needs and wants better if they know the names of the parts of their body, what hurts, where they want to put their food, what's itchy, what's hot, what's cold. So they're great first words to learn. Okay, so here are a whole bunch of songs to do with body parts. All right, the first one we'll do is to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. And it goes like this. This is what I call my head, call my head, call my head. This is what I call my head, listen, look, and see. This is what I call my nose, call my nose, call my nose. This is what I call my nose, listen, look, and see. This is what I call my chin, call my chin, call my chin. This is what I call my chin, listen, look, and see. This is what I call my neck, call my neck, call my neck. This is what I call my neck, listen, look, and see. And if your baby's enjoying that song, keep going, add as many body parts as you want, and then you finish up with, now I know the parts of me, parts of me, parts of me. Now I know the parts of me, listen, look, and see. That's a great one. Okay, this song is to the tune of The Farmer in the Dell. The Farmer in the Dell, The Farmer in the Dell. Sometimes I have to remind myself of the tune. It goes like this. I put my put my arms up high, I put my arms down low, I make my arms real stiff and then I let them go. First I swing like this and then I swing like that. I make my arms real round and then I lay them flat. I put my arms up high, I put my arms down low, I make my arms real stiff and then I let them go. First I swing like this, and then I swing like that. I make my arms real round, and then I lay them flat. That's a great one. Lots of movement in that one. Okay, this one's to the tune of The Muffin Man. And you can substitute your baby's name in here. This is Henry. I can make my Henry smile, Henry smile, Henry smile. I can make my Henry smile when I tickle his toes. I can make my Henry laugh, Henry laugh, Henry laugh. I can make my Henry laugh when I tickle his nose. Now I tried as hard as I could to think of two other body parts that rhymed, like toes and nose, and I could not. So if you can, that would be great. You could add them into the song. And anyway, I'll do toes and nose one more time. I can make my Henry smile, Henry smile, Henry smile. I can make my Henry smile when I tickle his toes. I can make my Henry laugh, Henry laugh, Henry laugh. I can make my Henry laugh 
when I tickle his nose. All right, see if you can find two other body parts that rhyme. Okay, this one is to the tune of I'm a little teapot. I'm a lit, you're my little baby, so soft and sweet. Here are your hands and here are your feet. I'll watch you clap your hands and tap your feet. I love you, baby, so soft and sweet. You're my little baby, so soft and sweet. Here are your hands and here are your feet. I'll watch you clap your hands and tap your feet. I love you, baby, so soft and sweet. All right. This one is to the tune of the ABC song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. It goes like this. One, two, three, four, five fingertips. I can touch them to my lips. I can cover up my eyes. I can clap them on my thighs. Now let's do the other hand. Do you think you understand? One, two, three, four, five fingertips. I can touch them to my lips. I can cover up my eyes. I can clap them on my thighs. Now let's do the other hand. Do you think you understand? That's a nice one too. Lots of body parts in that one. Thighs even. All right. I wanted to mention some board books again, like I do every baby time. There's just so many amazing board books out there. And I have three board books that have to do with body parts and they're all amazing. And they all do something really different. So this one is called Heads and Tails. It is by the New York Times best-selling photographer. So the, the photographs are beautiful. Uh, Carly Davidson. So she did the photographs. Um, it's by Chronicle Books Publishing. And of course we have it in the Vancouver Island Regional Library. I'll put a link to it in the post. So this one talks about body parts uh, with dogs. And I know baby will be fascinated by these photographs. They're up close, they're simple, and they're all dogs. So baby will be riveted. So it's just got the one word, eyes, nose, just riveting photographs. There's no problem that, uh, with baby being engaged with this book. Tongue even, ears. So this is a fantastic board book called Heads and Tails. Another one, is all about faces so completely different this is by cottage door press it is illustrated by mona koff and written by vicky scott and this is a series of books called panda 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 series it's a brother and a sister panda um, very simple messages very engaging bold pictures black and white really catches baby's attention keeps them focused so if this is just parts of the face, bright colors and the black and white bold pictures. So it introduces the panda bears. And then also another good feature of a board book is the conversational style. It, it um, encourages a back and forth with baby. So this is my nose, beep beep. It also encourages interaction with baby. It does everything right. So this is my nose, beep 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 beep. And then, can you find Dot's nose? So it asks baby to interact with the book, depending on the age of your baby. So you can find Dot's nose, you can, baby can point to Dot's nose. These are my ears, wiggle wiggle. Can you find Dot's ears? These are my teeth, chomp chomp. Can you find Dot's teeth? So this is a fantastic board book. Lots of interaction, lots of conversation back and forth. Great one. 
All right, and then this one, I think I'm saving the best to last. This one is amazing, and it's introducing the vocabulary of colors as well. So it's called All Colors. It's by Amalia Hoffman. And watch how this works. It's by Schiffer Publishing. Thank you, Schiffer Publishers. So it starts off with white, a smudge of white. And then there's the white over here. And then blue, just a smudge of blue. And what's gonna happen? And the blue becomes the arms and the white is the head. So it's doing the parts of the body in a really engaging, creative way. So then the red, what will the red become? The red becomes the legs. Yellow, what will the yellow become? The yellow becomes the feet. Gray, what will the gray become? The gray becomes the hands. And pretty soon as baby gets older and, and it looks at this book a few times, they'll be able to say the parts of the body. Orange, what will the orange become? And get baby to point to where the orange went and the orange went and became hair. Pink, what will the pink become? Pink became the ears. Green, what will the green become? Green became the eyes. Brown. The brown becomes the mouth, the nose and eyebrows. Purple. A purple flashlight to see a whole bunch of other colors. What are all these other colors going to become? Friends. Isn't that a beautiful book? Thank you, Amalia Hoffman created that book. That's a wonderful one, all colors. These are all board books, so they're heavy duty. Baby can handle them as much as they want. They're indestructible. All right, I think we'll say goodbye for another baby time. Baby time has reached its end. Say goodbye to all your friends. We've sang some songs and had some fun. Feels like we have just begun. Baby time is over, friends. We have really reached the end. Goodbye, everybody. Tune into all our baby times every week with Vancouver Island Regional Library. Bye for now.